All right, so we're going to equip the other ring. Don't forget when all of this is done, put the moonstone back on or whatever power-up items you had. Oh, you know what it's time for. Nothing, because there's no fight in this game. Yeah, it's th there's in the import version and in the Saturn version, there's a fight down here uh, and in the PSP version, basically every other version, but this one, there's a fight down here and the fight can actually be very difficult, but it's, it wasn't in this game. It's funny because when I picked up the Saturn version, that was my first time experiencing the fight. And I, all I remember thinking was, I don't remember this being that tough. And then it occurred to me that there was a fight there that wasn't in the PlayStation game. Alucard? That voice. Maria. How are you getting to these places? I'm sorry. You were right. I'm doing all he kinds of crap to get here. The enemy. So it was a Belmont after all. But someone must be controlling him. Whatever we do, we can't harm Richter. But he must be stopped. I know. Well, here. Take these with you. What are these? Uh, holy glasses. You Can't you see the words this, at the bottom of the screen? See beyond evil illusions. Thank you. Tis best then if you pray for the soul of your friend. Yeah, in the Japanese, when she says, uh, are you, you know, are you strong enough? And then she wants to, she basically wants to challenge you to test you. And she proceeds to start kicking the crap out of you. But in this game, she trusts you enough to just give you the glasses, which I, I don't know if that works for me or not. I, I, as weird as it sounds, it kind of works and it kind of doesn't. Right, so we'll save just to save. And we're actually kind of, kind of halfway through the game. Alrighty. Quickest way is to get back to one of those teleport rooms. Uh, so we'll just go back up this way. There's a big chunk of castle that I skip. And again, that's one of those things that I just, I always skip now. Uh, there is... I believe there's a there is a boss fight that I usually it you're supposed to go through the area and get to the boss and then you'll pop up above in a room above where the clock tower is. Ah. Uh. There we go. But since we have the power of the bat now, we can actually just fly to it. So what I usually do is just go through the door, do the boss fight, and then come back. So we're gonna we're gonna tour the castle here really quick because it's you can't pick which one you go to, so you have to cycle through all of them. That's towards the beginning of the game. That's the underground caverns. That's by the library. And this is up where we need to be. You can see right there. So yeah, normally you're supposed to go through the 
the rooms with the gears and everything and do all of that stuff and it's kind of a pain when you get through it all there's a boss right here we're going to completely overpower him whoops but it's kind of a cool looking boss so I uh, you know Maybe. We'll just do this simply. I usually like to try and kill him in the center of the room just to get a sweet pose. Because of the way the birds fly out of him and everything. Again, I'm I I, I take make a make it a point to easily amuse myself. I just love this effect with he when he wraps his cloak around him. Save point up here. We'll use that in a second. Talwar? No, Falcon. Or Fal Falcon? We're going with Falcon. Alrighty. Now you can come here once you get the power of the bat and do this fight. The problem is you're going to get the bad ending if you do it. You need to go through all that other stuff and get the glasses like I had. Or like I have now. That's the ghost. It's like uh, the little skull, glowing skull familiar that comes out. Here, we'll equip that. And it'll go, it'll stick itself onto an enemy and it'll leech off of it. Uh, one of my favorite things about it, though, it doesn't like the bat. It wonders where the hell you went. And takes off. So yeah, like if you if you have the bat card, it sort of falls in love with you. Or it gets a little heart on it, and then it you'll get more bats as it gets stronger. More bats will come out when you do that. Careful with this area. Obviously, you can't really attack right now, so that always happens. But, you know. See, if you see the ghost, look at the ghost trying to get at him. Yeah, there's some stuff up here. Nothing really serious, but... A couple cool items. power of the mist actually yeah i forgot that this was here the power of the mist lets you stay mist yeah this is a very cool item especially for getting a lot getting through a lot of tough areas and just getting through all of that good job ghost unfortunately it's not holding still enough for the ghost to be doing its job Now, at the beginning of the game, you can open this up. This stairway is still here. It's just the items are different up top. A lot of food you can use. My cat Pepper has decided to make an appearance. Come here, Pepper. I've been waiting for you. Answer Ooh. me. Why is a Belmont hello, Pepper. the resurrection of Calvin? Say hello. Dracula? 
Count Dracula rises but once every century, and my role is over. Okay. If I can resurrect him, then the battle will last for eternity. <laughs> oh, wait. Before we do anything else, holy glasses. There you go. Without the glasses, that won't appear at the top. Don't hit Richter. Woo! Richter giving me the work. Proud of the ghost there. It's the Dark Priest Shaft. Insert you damn right comments right here. I dig this cutscene. I like the music. I'd like to insert this music into something where I'm descending from the sky. Like, real badass with my hands out, just sort of with that face that says I'm about to bring it. No, what have I done? Oh, thank you, Alucard. To be fair, you didn't for know. Alucard? The same Alucard who fought alongside my ancestor, Trevor Belmont? That was over 300 years ago. No time for small talk. Is the person <laughs> who controlled you in that castle over there? Yes. Probably. So. It, that seemed like a pretty safe Maria, assumption. Take Richter and leave here. I'll finish this. All right. Okay. Good luck. One thing I do like in the Saturn game, they give you an item right here that lets you uh, run at double speed. What Pepper? I'm trying to I'll give you give you some petting. Yeah. Sorry about that. All right. And down here, everything changes. By the way, in case you didn't notice, welcome to the Upside Down Castle. <laughs> One of the biggest complaints about this game when it first came out was that a lot of the classic Castlevania monsters and bosses weren't in here. They're all here. It's just you have to come to this side of the game. You know, there were a lot of people when the game first came out that hated the ending, and they all they did was the first part. If you go in and you kill Richter, it just... It's boring. Ah, oh, alas, poor York. I killed his skull with my own skull. Alrighty. Go through here. Fly up, fly up. All right, go through here. Grab, I think this is a library card. Be careful with these library cards. I, I used to get messed up the first couple times I played this game. The library cards will take you to the first castle library. All right. When we come back, we'll start exploring the second castle. And we'll actually go through 
the, I'm going to get the strongest sword in the game. That's something that I always do in this game. So I'm going to get the strongest sword, which is going to be a little bit of farming. But I'll, with any luck, I'll get it fast. With bad luck, I'll edit out the farming. 